OpenAI finally released something that's actually open. And what's awesome is their reasoning models, meaning you can actually use them for daily tasks as well as AI agents and workflows. I'll show you how we can use things like Olama, Grok with a Q and open router to bring it to life and even vibe code with it on our local desktop computer. By the end, you'll have a local AI setup right at your fingertips. Let's jump in. All right, so you can see here, I have a desktop app called Olama, which recently released an interface that you can basically interact with like you would ChatGPT. And you'll see I have the new GPT OSS model downloaded on my desktop and I'm operating it in what's called turbo mode, which is a new feature from Olama. So you can see here, if I ask a basic request, it'll be almost instantaneous. And you'll notice the format and structure is very much akin to O3. Can you create an essay about AGI? And if we send this over, it'll reason for usually from 0.2 to three seconds. And then we'll be able to see in real time, I'm not speeding this up, how quick it is. And you'll see the structure is detailed. It's not hallucinating like a lot of open source models do and you can audit exactly how it ruminated or thought through the process. Now, how did I get this on my desktop computer? All you have to do is go to something like olama.com and you'll be able to download the software on either OS, Windows, or Linux. And then in terms of the actual models they have, if you go to the models tab, you can select from anything like Gemma, GPT OSS, which is the main models we're looking at today, as well as all kinds of other models. And what's great about Olama is it also offers models that you can use that are open source as well for embedding vision tools and thinking. So if you wanted to actually spin up your own local AI agent army, you're totally able to do that with just the models in this interface. And one more thing to mention is they're offering this new service called Turbo, where you can technically upgrade for 20 bucks a month, and then they'll basically allow you to access the much larger models with very quick inference, which is fancy words for very quick responses, similar to what you just saw a few moments ago. To physically download the model, all you have to do is literally go to the drop down right here, select the model of interest in this case, and if you send a message, it will detect whether or not it's already on your desktop computer. If not, it will start auto downloading it. So if I just say hi right here, you'll see it'll detect that I actually have it. But if I go to a different model that I don't have, let's say Gemma 4B, and I say hi, it should detect that it's not on my computer and start actually downloading it. And the best part is there's no Docker, there's no setup, there's no terminal. Once it's downloaded, you can use it right away. And once it's downloaded, it'll also send this request to the newly downloaded model and come back with a response. Now, if you didn't want to use Olama, you have two other main alternatives you can use. One of them being Open Router, which is well known for being able to aggregate tons of models that you can access through just one API request. So if you go into the model section, they've also recently added these two models and you can go into your credit section. If you've never created an account before, add some form of credits with a top up, typically five to 10 bucks will take you pretty far, especially with reasoning models. And once you have that, you'll go to the API key section, create a key. And in this case, I'm going to show you how we can vibe code locally on our desktop using a pretty inexpensive model like the 120B version in a tool called Dyad, which is an open source vibe coding tool. So once you download it, you'll be greeted by this landing page that looks very much like lovable in Bolt. And the main idea is you can ask it to use a certain model, let's say either closed source models, or in this case, open source models, we can add 120B. And then we can just ask it, let's say, build me a super basic, straightforward landing page for a dental clinic, right? And just to show you how quick it actually runs, it's gonna start thinking, reasoning, like I said before. Once it starts to reasoning, it'll start creating the files like you would see in all kinds of other vibe coding tools. And then once you fix the errors like you're used to with vibe coding, it'll be able to show a landing page really quickly. And with one quick fix error with AI, we get something like this, which is again, not the most beautiful, but this is next to nothing in terms of inference cost. And it's not too bad for a first draft. And just to show another example, this is after two or three different prompts. Again, not the most beautiful, but we have a multi-page website put together with very basic prompts. Okay, so switching gears to automation software like AnyN, you can use these new models in Make.com, Zapier, and AnyN as well. In AnyN specifically, you can use it through Olama directly if you wanna use it from their actual service, or if you wanna run it locally, you can totally do that and you can self-host. In this case, you can go to Olama model, add your credential, and then once you add your credential right here, 
it will ask you to reference your local server if you have one and you're ready to go. Otherwise, you can either use Grok with a Q, not Elon Musk's Grok, the one with a Q. This is basically the very fast open source model inference company. And, or you can use Open Router like we saw before. So these would be the nodes. One thing I noticed with Grok is it is super quick. So if you go into Grok, all you'd have to do is log in. And once you log in, you'll be able to add an API key, create it. And just like Open Router, you add around five to six bucks, have an automatic top up, and then you can use it out of the box. And once you're in, you'll be able to see all the open source models they offer, as well as the two main ones we care about today, which is this, but you could also use, let's say Kimi K2, which is a newer open source model and cross compare the results and see which one you like better. And once you go to the API key tab and grab your API key, you'll be able to log into something like AnyDen, add your Grok account key, and then use the GPT OSS 120B model. Now, one note here is I noticed that in make.com, the exact same Grok chat model doesn't have these yet. So Anadan is probably the one that's quicker on being able to implement this right now. In comparing the 120B version versus the 20B version, the 20B is okay, but in terms of reasoning, it hallucinates a lot. And it basically thinks of the same quote unquote thought over and over again. And especially if you try to use it in an agentic situation, it kind of misfires and doesn't call tools. Whereas if I'm using the 120B version, if we pull up the chat, you'll see how blazing fast it is. So, okay, can you draft an email to myself in my inbox or in my draft folder, basically with a summary of the top five things that I would need to know about generative AI if I was starting out. And then if I send this over, you'll see it's super quick at coming back with a response. In this case, it's asking me for an email address. So I'll give that to it. There we go. Boom. And you'll see it invokes a tool perfectly fine. And if we hop into my Gmail, we'll be able to see the draft is there waiting for us. And voila, very succinct, put together, well formatted, ready to go, even includes the bolding and formatting. So this is a pretty effective model at using these basic tools. Now to battle test it, what you'd wanna try is go into some of your workflows that might have multiple agents with multiple tools or sub agents and see how well it performs on the hallucination side. That's definitely something that I'll be trying in the coming days as well. And with that, that's pretty much it. So you can use this on your local desktop, you can use this through Open Router, or you can use it for literally next to free for a while using the Grok service. In the last 12 hours, I did a pretty deep dive on this and I came up with a very good prompting protocol to get the absolute best out of these open source models. If that interests you, check out the first link in the description below and maybe I'll see you in my early AI adopters community where we go a lot deeper on every single topic that you see on YouTube with exclusive resources, coaches, and access to moi doing tons of experiments every single day. I'll see you in the next one.